Whether you just downloaded Warzone 2 or you've been playing it for the past two months and you just want to learn how to play a little bit better, get more kills, and in turn get more wins on a Sheikah Island, aka Resurgence, then you clicked on the right video. So sit back, relax, and put your learning caps on, because in today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I've learned from playing this game, as well as every Call of Duty that has surfaced for the past 10 years plus. Alright, are you ready? Let's jump in. So let's start by breaking the game up into three stages, if you will, of Ashika Island. Stage 1 will be called Landing. Stage 2 is Mid Game, or the Loadout Stage. And Stage 3 is the End Game. Let's start with Stage 1. Believe it or not, there are a million different ways to play right from the start of the match. And the way you deal with these scenarios or situations is different depending on where and how you drop. Let's start with the easy drop, where there's no one around you and it's time to loot up as fast as you can, open every chest and duffel bag as fast as possible, but always be ready at any moment because even when you think there's no one around, there always is. When you land on an easy drop, make sure you find at least two stacks of armor, smoke grenades, semtex, and a gas mask to help you to get into mid game. Next is the hot drop. What I suggest is unless there's a gun hidden from the enemy's view, I would avoid going straight for the loot crate or the ground loot as soon as you land. Instead, drop and use your pistol to the best of your ability before searching out a gun. The reason for this is most of the time you'll get shot in the back before you can double tap your X or circle button if you're on PlayStation. Someone's gonna be ready to pop you in the back. And with the time to kill being so fast in this game, you probably won't be able to turn on your enemy before you're sent to rest your bum on the floor and call out for help. What the f*** was that? Help me! Now, during hot drops, don't worry if you die, but if you do, never drop back on the same place you died. Always attack your enemies from a different spot, window, or doorway than the first time you did. When doing hot drops, it's going to take a lot of thinking and smart playmaking to be the last one standing in that particular spot on the map. During these hot drops, you're going to be fighting multiple enemies at once, so make sure you've collected armor plates and you're using them at any open chance you get. And make sure that you fight one enemy at a time. Try to separate your enemies before attacking, so you can get an even one-on-one -on -one every time. If it's two enemy teammates at once, make sure that they're both low health before you engage fully. So if you need to pop shot and run, make sure you don't back yourself into a corner and always have an escape plan. I realize if you are hot dropping, then you're most likely going for high kills, but being overly aggressive is going to lead to more deaths and a harder time getting set up for the middle of the game. So once you've won all your early game gunfights and you're all geared up, it's time for stage 2, the mid game. You have two options, wait for your loadout to drop, which is very risky, or get your teammates together and buy a personal loadout, which is 8 times out of 10 the better option, depending on where the closest buy station is. If it's close by, gather your 20k between your teammates and grab a preferred loadout. But if the buy is too far away, then get ready, lock and load, because you're probably going to run into another team on your way to the buy station. But here's the thing, try your best not to draw attention to yourself so you can buy the loadout, throw it for your team without being shot. That is your best chance of getting your loadout. And it gives your team the ultimate advantage going into the end game. So keep in mind, if you have enough to buy a loadout, that's the best option. But if you don't have enough, go ahead and buy your favorite gun from the buy station because that works just as well. Now if you run into enemies, you gotta play this smart. You gotta try to find the best way to the buy station. If that means bunkering down for a little to kill the enemies, then do what you have to do. If you have smoke grenades, those are the best ways to get anything from a buy. Throw your smoke strategically to provide yourself some cover to make the buy play. But if not, you're gonna have to fight. So let's learn how to fight smart. Fighting smart means using the high ground, better positioning, head glitches, good accuracy, and possibly a little bit of baiting. The number one thing I say to myself in a situation like this is never fight someone from the same angle twice. Always find a different way to fight if the first time didn't work out. If you're playing solo in quads, mid-game gunfights are going to be tricky. But if you're in a squad, make sure your squad all knows what's going on and coordinate with each other move by move. Oh my god. How am I surviving right so now? So once you've gotten your loadout, you're ready for stage 3, the end game. 
In this stage, it's all about position, the gas is starting to close in, and resurgence is over. Pay attention to where you and your squad are, and where the circle's moving. High ground is usually your best option, but if you don't have an opportunity to move to high ground, make sure you have smoke grenades, stims, and a gas mask. But two out of the three will work. Don't be afraid of the gas, and don't get yourself trapped too far in the gas that there's no return. But the gas can be your best friend in this situation. When it comes down to the final three circles, getting a good rotation, if that means running in the gas with your gas mask till it runs out, go ahead and do so as long as you're going to get either behind your enemies or in a spot where you're going to gun them down very, very easily. Here's a good example. We're coming down to the final circle with four teams left and a couple people on top of castle. After I kill the guy on top of castle, this is my time to break. Run straight over to the buy station, get my gas mask, and I'm ready for the gas play. Now if you notice the circle's pulling towards me, which means I gotta make a break for it. It's time to run through the gas and get to the circle before anyone else does. Now that I'm in a spot that I think is the best positioning, it looks like the circle closes in even more and it forces the kids off of castle to jump. I noticed to the left that there was a guy running, so I started shooting at him, but I got a little lag spike and wasn't able to put him down. The ultimate goal was to get them all to rotate into this little house right here, and I think me and my team did a really good job of all pushing when we needed to, to get around the storm. I remembered I had this bomb drone, so I went around the corner, tried to blow this guy up, but my teammate ended up getting him first. I wasn't paying attention to if I had a gas mask in that situation when I called in the bomb drone, but... All in all, jump back in the circle and easy win. Now, the reason why I said that smoke grenades are the best thing for a Sheik Island and I say that you always should pick them up is watch this play. So I got my buddy here. Don't look at the gamer tag. I don't know why he chose that. But watch this play. So he takes the long route around in the gas. Um, and immediately these guys know exactly where he is, which is odd, but he gets that down, throws his smoke, and it's time to run. Finally gets himself into the storm and throws his muni box to get another smoke. Smoke grenades are just the best way to get around in this game, especially when you're under fire. So he throws another smoke grenade, and he's able to get up on this guy. And right there, able to get the kill. Luckily, this guy dropped another muni box. If he didn't, he probably would have been toast. But picks up his muni box, gets another smoke, tosses his smoke. Tosses actually both of them, which gives him enough cover to completely evade the enemy without getting shot. Now he can just wait it out a little bit, wait for the storm to push, and everybody has to jump off the building. So that guy dies from the storm. Unfortunately, he does waste his gas mask a little bit here trying to loot, which maybe he should have pushed a little bit earlier, but that's all right. Uh, gets unlucky with that grenade right there. The storm will pull back towards him, but it's just not the right timing because he doesn't have his gas mask anymore. Picks off these two guys, and unfortunately, the precision airstrike kills him. But there's a lot of good stuff that we could take away from there, and smokes are broken now in this game. It's not like the old Call of Duties where they could just see you straight through the smoke. The smokes actually do their job now, and I really recommend using them. Alright guys, you can go ahead and take your learning caps off. If you learned anything today, go ahead and hit that like button as it does help the algorithm. This video did take a little while to make. I wanted to put it out a little bit earlier on in the month, but there's no time like today. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.